The TI Inspire app for iPad can be used as a graphing calculator and so much more. But let's see how it can be used as a calculator. I'll tap on the next slide. Notice the brilliant mathematics keyboard that is unique to TI Inspire. You can toggle back and forth between the ABC or QWERTY keyboard and the F of X or math keyboard. Let's illustrate that. Tap on the next page, which is a calculator page. I'll tap once on the page, and up pops the keyboard. If I tap the ABC, I get the QWERTY. If I go back to the F of X, I get the function with all of its templates. Notice the four arrows on the keypad. These are very helpful to help let the user move around a formula or within a function easily, and these are unique to TI Inspire 2. Let's go on to the next page, tap, and here's a calculation that was already there. I'll tap once to bring up the keypad, tap the up arrow once, twice to get to that. So it selects that expression, tap copy, tap below and paste it. And now using the left arrow, I can now move into the numerator, and left arrow again, left arrow again, and I can delete the 8, and let's say it was supposed to be a 9. Press enter, and it will recalculate that expression. So those arrows are very, very useful. Some keys have a horizontal light blue bar on them. As you can see, I circled four of them. This indicates that the key has more than one function. If the user presses and holds one of these keys down, the other functions appear. Let's illustrate. On a calculator page, I'll tap to bring up the keypad. Uh, I'll, I'll tap and hold the sign. And you can see the other functions that are assigned to it. The greater than sign has those attached to it. X has a couple other variables attached to it. And pi has EI and infinity attached to it. But one of my favorites is the enter, where it has the approximate equal and the last answer key, along with the carriage return. Let's do some examples of using the calculator. Tap once, take the square root key of 12, tap enter, and I get that answer. If I want to take the cubed root, I'll tap the cubed root key, well, the nth root key, type in the 3 for the index, uh, I'm going to use the right arrow to get to inside, and let's go with, say, 2744. Press Enter. To check that, I'm going to use that Answer uh, key, and I'm going to touch Enter, slide up to Answer, and say, let's take the last answer and raise it to the power of 3, and see that it does check. There's a fraction template. So if I touch, let's say, 144, and then the down arrow to get to the numerator over 60, press Enter, it simplifies the fraction. As you can see, you can also add and multiply and subtract and divide fractions. If I wanted to change them, again, I could go ahead and tap once, press the up arrow once, twice to select that and copy it, come back down and paste it, and then using those arrows, i edit that if I needed to. Before we look at logarithms, I'm going to go ahead and add a, another calculator page to this document so it's clean. Press the log key and log to the base. Now I can assign any base. Use the right arrow to get to the argument of 32. Enter. If I want to do log to the base 10, I could type the 10 or just bypass it altogether. For those who use the trig functions, um, let's first check the mode. So I'm going to press the third icon from the left on the top, and it'll show me the document settings. The display digits are float 6. I could also change them to float or fix, stay with 6. The angle right now is in radian, and the other uh, modes are there also, so I'm done. So again, I'll tap here, and let's say take the sign of, um, say, pi over 4. So I'll tap the fraction template, the pi key, the down arrow, 4, and press enter. And I'm not getting an exact answer. This is not a, the CAS version of the Inspire app. Now, if I take the sign of, let's say, 30 degrees, or I think 30 degrees, remember, this is going to be 30 radians. So if I want to bypass that radians, there is a key that allows me to do that. The Right next to tangent, 
is the angle with a degree symbol, and that will bypass the radian. I could also change the radians to degrees in the mode, but I think you get the idea. There are several templates. One of my favorites is in the lower left corner, the summation or sigma one. I can find the summation, tap N, right arrow goes from one, tap the up arrow, and the left arrow, I'm sorry, back up the arrow, n equals 1 to 100, right arrow of, let's say, n, the first 100 positive integers. And if I wanted to, to change that, I could up arrow once, twice, copy that, tap down and paste, and I could go to the left arrow and make that the sum of the perfect squares, first 100 perfect squares. There's several templates like that available. There are a lot more things you can do with the Transpire app for iPad on the calculator, and there are many iPad-ready activities that are available for free at TI's website shown here. For more information about iPad activities, workshops, conferences, you can go to my website or contact me, uh, or go to TI's websites. Mathematics can now be felt. Enjoy.